A group of Florida businesses now aiming to put the brakes on three new toll roads proposed for Florida. Opponents tonight telling our Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders why those new roads aren't worth the risk. Michelle Arsenault loves small town life, operating an embroidery shop in North Florida. We've lived in Pinellas County. We've lived in Metro Atlanta. We prefer the rural lifestyle. That lifestyle, she fears, is in jeopardy if those new toll roads are built nearby. The corridor is nicknamed MCORs, rerouting what she says is crucial drive through traffic. If we lose sales tax revenue from businesses downtown closing, our city budget is going to be shot. Arsenault is the latest business to join 56 organizations hoping to halt construction before plans are finished. The coalition, mostly of environmental groups, feeling the roads aren't needed, vocalizing concerns during a Capitol protest. That if built, these roads will be for disastrous for our wildlife, negative impact our water quality, and exacerbate climate change and sea level rise. Meanwhile, miles away, Florida's Chamber of Commerce hosting a conference supporting the project. It's one of the smartest things that you could do. It's getting ready for growth. Chamber President Mark Wilson saying the roads would strengthen the economy and prepare us for increasing population. We can't grow to 10th largest economy in the world if we don't get infrastructure right. The state's MCOR plan also aims to strengthen broadband, water, and energy access in rural areas along the routes. Backers calling it a boon for small towns. Arsenault still not buying it. We see it as just the opposite. It's going to be economically devastating. She's vowing to keep the pressure on until this road project is ditched. In Tallahassee, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.